The pick is in for the Miami Dolphins in the sixth round, and it is Elijah Higgins, tight end slash wide receiver from Stanford. He was announced as a tight end, but he played wide receiver at Stanford. He is expected to transition to tight end in the National Football League. We have one in Miami to take a tight end. Who's not expecting it to be Higgins. Zach Kuntz was on the board. Some other guys were on the board that we talked about, but the pick is Higgins in the sixth round. Number 197 overall. 6'3", 235 pounds was a projected fifth round pick. He goes here to the Dolphins late in the sixth round. From Austin, Texas, uh, 23 years old, spent four seasons at Stanford, started all 12 games for the Cardinal this past year, 704 receiving yards as a receiver, two touchdowns. He led the team in receiving and was an honorable mention all Pac-12 selection. It was funny, when this pick was announced, if you were watching me live on Chat Sports, I'm like, wide receiver? What are they doing here? But then they announced him, formally announced him, as a tight end. Uh, so that appears to be the plan to move Higgins to tight end in the NFL. And if that is the case, here is an updated look at the tight end depth chart. Mike Kosicki is gone. He signed with the New England Patriots. So Durham Smythe, who was drafted the same year as Kosicki, going to have a shot to be the first tight end on this football team. Eric Saubert. He was the second tight end in Denver. You bring him over in free agency. He's a good blocker. Don't expect him to have much of an impact in the passing game, though. Tanner Connor, he, he was a UDFA uh, out of Idaho State last year. Uh, was a remarkable story. Was a track star at Idaho State. Uh, then makes the Miami Dolphins as an undrafted free agent last year. So uh, Tanner Connor, after a great college career, walking onto the football team at Iowa, uh, Idaho State. Uh, was signed in, uh, I should say, signed after the draft as UDFA last year. They apparently really like the progress he's made this offseason. And then you add Elijah Higgins to this room, who was a wide receiver at Stanford, but is going to try to be a tight end in the National Football League. Go down in the comment section, grade the Dolphins' six-round pick. We were patient today. The Dolphins did not have a fourth-round pick. They did not have a fifth-round pick. 197 overall. It is Higgins, the wide receiver slash tight end from Stanford. Type A, B, C, D, or F down in the comments. It is the pinned comment on today's video. So when ad break comes, go down and chime in. Type A, B, C, D, or F. I'm happy they address tight end or appear to have addressed tight end. I think it's kind of funny. Team is maybe trying to spin it a little bit because they know the fan base would not react well if they drafted a wide receiver after drafting a corner yesterday because the Dolphins have one of the best wide receiver rooms in the NFL. Uh, they went kind of that route today, taking a guy that was a wide receiver in college but wants to be a tight end in the National Football League. Of course, yesterday they took Cam Smith, great player, but you really did not need a corner. You already had a top-tier cornerback room. Dane Brugler says this about Elijah Higgins. Higgins doesn't always play up to his size and lacks the resume of a playmaker, but he is an intriguing height-slash-weight-slash-speed athlete with the talent to be a matchup problem from different areas of the field. He can be a hybrid move tight end. So there you have it. Uh, this was speculated he might be a tight end. Or big slot in the NFL, depending on scheme. So we'll see how the Dolphins use him here. Uh, it will be maybe kind of an uphill battle to make this team. Uh, but we'll see what they do. I mean, last year they carried five tight ends on the initial 53 Man roster, uh, that's definitely his best chance to make this team as a tight end, not as a wide receiver. 59 receiving yards this past season at Stanford. Seven, 59 receptions, I should say. 704 receiving yards, two touchdowns. He led the team in receiving yards. Was honorable mention all Pac-12. He had six touchdowns the last two seasons at Stanford. We're bringing you the best Dolphins draft coverage on YouTube, so be sure that you subscribe to the channel. We're bringing you analysis for every single pick. That is the sublink right there. YouTube.com slash Dolphins News. Going to get you guys a video reacting to the Dolphins' seventh round pick here. Uh, the, yeah, seventh round pick here in a second. And then going to get you guys a Dolphins draft grades video. 
going to break down every single pick that the Dolphins have made here in the 2023 NFL Draft. So subscribe, turn on your notifications. You are not going to want to miss that video later today. Let's break down the Dolphins' picks. They came in to this draft with a league low four draft picks. So they really had to hit on every single pick. And they've taken three good players here. Cam Smith, the cornerback from South Carolina. Stunning selection. I did not see that coming, but he might have been the best player on the Dolphins draft board. Uh, Devon A. Chain, love that pick. The running back from Texas A&M. You saw Mike McDaniel. He was fired up about that pick yesterday. <laughs> Go watch that video. Mike is, Mike is a funny guy, man. Elijah Higgins, uh, the wide receiver slash tight end from Stanford, is the pick in round six. So the Dolphins, for now, have one pick left, and it is in the seventh round, number 238 overall. Here were the tight ends uh, that you took uh, Higgins over. Zach Kuntz uh, was one of the dream targets for me. Really would have loved him in Miami. You know, we mocked him to the Dolphins before in the third round. I was expecting this guy to be a third or fourth round pick. Here he is falling to the sixth round. Could be a medical issue. We saw the same thing with Darnell Washington, who was expected to be a first round pick. He fell to Pittsburgh in the third round. Braden Willis, the tight end from Oklahoma. He was still on the board. Blake Whitehart uh, from Wake Forest. And then Noah uh, Gindorf. Uh, Gindor I don't know, whatever you say. What's that? Gindorf. Yeah, I had it the first time. Tied in from North Dakota State. Uh, so those are the guys that you picked Higgins over. I probably would have picked Higgins over all those guys except Koontz. I mean, Koontz was my guy, as you all know. Uh, but I don't hate the pick of Higgins. Uh, we'll see uh, how he transitions to tight end. My one concern, is he going to be able to block? And the ironic thing about that is he kind of moved on from Mike Kosicki because he couldn't block. He did not fit Mike McDaniel's scheme. So I thought the Dolphins would target a guy like Darnell Washington or Zach Kuntz who were effective as run blockers. Instead, you go with the guy who was a wide receiver in college and are going to try to turn him into a tight end. Higgins is a project, but in the sixth round, projects are worth it. Who do you want to draft next? Hopefully an offensive lineman. The Dolphins did not draft an offensive lineman last year. Uh, they have not done so this year. Chris Greer was actually asked about that last night, and he said, uh, we feel better about tight end and offensive line than our fan base does. But when you're looking at this offensive line, it's hard not to be concerned because you want Tua to stay upright. There's no depth on this offensive line. You have a gaping hole at left guard. You have a huge hole at right tackle. And I was hoping they would use the draft to fill some of those holes. Uh, they have not done that thus far. Uh, but we'll see what happens in the seventh round. Uh, maybe they will surprise us. Be sure to subscribe to the channel. Going to get you guys a video reacting to that seventh round pick. You don't want to miss that.